Hey, girls and boys, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Uh, as always, very excited to be with you to do some more math. Um, how's it going today? Uh, I hope it's going well. Um, I know you're at home, and I hope you have a good spot to work. Um, anyways, so today we're going to do some more. Remember the other day we started to talk about comparing numbers, like which one is greater, which one is less or smaller. So I'm gonna do a little bit more work with you on that. We'll play a fun game with that. And then uh, you get to choose a, a couple of the games um, that you've already been playing this week. Okay, so we, we, we have like um, a bunch like cross out and race to the top and match my number, uh, race to trace, Right, so I'm just gonna let you choose a, a few of those to play. Um, you know, usually your teachers tell you what you have to do, right? So I'm gonna let you have some choice. Okay, so let's get to um, comparing numbers first. So I'm gonna show you there's some counters here and, and, and sorry, uh, cubes here, okay? So I want you to look. So there's orange and green. Do you think there's more orange cubes or green cubes. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time real quick, ready? And here I go, bloop. All right, so take a look. One, two, three. All right, raise your hand if you think there are more orange cubes. Okay, raise your hand if you think there are more green cubes. All right, let's find out, okay? Because I tried, I tried to trick you. Let's see if I did it. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four cubes. Okay, there's four, I'll put this up here, four cubes. Over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubes. All right, now seven does come after four. So if you have four, five, sorry, four, five, six, seven. So seven should be the bigger number. I tried to trick you by putting these closer together and these more spread out. But really that doesn't make a difference because look, I can spread these out too, right? Even more. Okay, the way to really check though, which one is more is to make a tower like this. And tomorrow you're gonna do this. So um, for now, just watch me. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna have you make some towers with your cubes. Now look, here's four. Here's seven. If I put them right next to each other, you can see, right? You can see that seven is a lot more. Okay, it's more. That word is more. M-O-R-E. All right, and four is less than seven. And seven is more than four. Hey, that rhymes. More than four. Okay, in fact... You can see it's three more than four. Because look, it's one, two, three. It has three more than four. And four has three less than seven. Pew, hope you're holding on to your brain because it might explode. All right, let's do, um, let's do another one because that was like super fun, right? All right, so are you ready? I'm gonna get my face out of the way. You're gonna see some orange cubes some green cubes. I'm only going to show it to you for like three seconds and I want you to think about whether there's more, that means the most greater of the orange or the green. And then we'll vote. And then we'll find out. Okay, here we go. Ready? And go. Here's the orange. Here's the green. What do you think? I didn't give you that much time, right? I gave you enough time, I think. So let's take a vote. Who says um, the orange, there's more of the orange, okay? Who says there's more of the green? Okay, let's find out, right? Like, you know, don't take my word for it. We gotta find out. So um, on this side, we have the orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight. So we'll write that down, eight. And then over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So which one is more? Do we know? Well, eight does come after six. So if this is 
sorry, if this is six, then this is, sorry, this is eight, right? So six, seven, eight. So eight comes after six, so it should be more. But we're gonna build our tower just to make sure. Now remember, tomorrow you're gonna be building towers as well. Because why? Because it's super fun and it helps you to compare numbers really effectively, okay? Because not only can you see which one's more, you can see how much more. So here I have eight, here I have six. I'm gonna match them up. Now notice I put, I line up the bottoms, right? Because look, if I went like this, <laughs> you could say, oh, look, Mr. McAndrew, the green is, is longer, it's, it's more. But like, no, it's not. You're starting, it's like cheating. You're starting way up here. You're gonna start at the same spot. Okay, so now you can see eight is more than six, right? Six is less than eight. In fact, we can see, if we line it up real carefully, that eight is two more than six because it has, if I took these two off, look, they'd be equal, All right? Now there's six of each, but now I've got eight here because I added two, and here's six. So eight is two more than six, and six is two less than eight. Okay, I can prove that by going like this. Okay, if I'm showing, here's six, right? To get to eight, I have to add two more. One, two. Now I have eight. Now if I want to get back to six, I have to take away two. One, two. And I'm back to six. Okay? I mean, numbers are like magical, right? They're like incredible. Okay. So, I mean, that's that's what I think anyways. Um, all right, let's do one more. Okay, last one. Here we go. Okay, so boys and girls, I'm going to show you one more. There's going to be some orange, some green. And I want you to vote which one do you think there's more of. Okay? All right. I know I'm always looking at my hair because I can see it. And, you know, it's just how it is. I see my hair. I want to fix it. You know, it's fine. Like, I'm being ridiculous. Okay. You don't need to know that. Here we go. Ready? Look carefully. Mark a sec. Go. Orange, green, which one? What do you think? I was being, I'm being tricky on this one, aren't I? I'm being tricky. So raise your hand if you think there's more orange. Raise your hand if you think there's more green. Raise both hands if you think there's the same number of both. What? What did you do, Mr. McAndrew? What did you do? All right, well, let's take a look. I may have been trying to be tricky, right? Okay, so let's count the orange. One, two, three, four. Let's count the green. One, two, three, four. Now, wait a second. There's none that, there's not more orange, right? And there's not more green. They are... What's, what's the word for that? They are the same, right? They're the same. Can you think of a math word that means the same? It looks like this. Oh, have you seen that before? It's called the equal sign. So these are equal, and you can see if I match them up, they're exactly the same height, right? If I were to stand them up, you can't really tell. If I were to stand them up like this, and I look... Oh, yeah, they're the same height. It's like two buildings are the same height. That's why I call them towers, because if you, if you pick them up like this, they're like towers, okay? All right, so boys and girls, this means that they are equal, okay? So four is the same as four, obviously, right? Four is equal to four. All right, awesome job, boys and girls. Let's move on. All right, so hello, boys and girls. So that was super fun, right? So now, like I told you, you get to pick which games you want to play. So there's four games you can choose from. I'd like you to pick at least two, okay? So your options include um, Race to Trace, okay? You've played that before. If you forget any of the directions, you can go back to the video. Um, that was from Monday, okay? Um, you can also play, and, and oh, right, and, and for this one, all you need is your marker, eraser, and your dot cards, um, six to 10. If there's some fives in there, that's okay. Just ignore them, okay? 
and you, or you could play Race to the Top. Okay, you need the same materials. All you need is a marker, eraser, and your dock cards. Okay, or you could play Cross Out. All right. So the same thing, you just need your dot cards. Um, you do need the five dot cards, right? Because you've got a five there. And your eraser and marker. And we've played that before. I showed you how to play that. Um, I think that was Tuesday. Okay. And the other game that you can choose from um, is match my number. We played this the other day. Uh, was it just yesterday? Where you put the five reds down. Okay. And then you use your dot cards and you flip it over and you're like, oh, I have three, four, five, six, seven. And then you put the yellows down, six, seven. And then since I landed, since I have seven counters, I would put, take my dry erase marker and trace the seven. Okay? So you have four games you can choose from. Please pick your favorite two and play that for a little while, okay? So have a lot of fun. Um, if you forgot how to play anything, the videos will show you from the other days. Um, I showed you on Tuesday, and I showed you on Wednesday how to play Match My Number. Okay? All right, boys and girls. Fun as always. I'll see you soon. Be good, be kind, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.